Hey gang, Scott here. In this video, we are going to talk about Photo Raw 2022 as a plugin to Lightroom. And I'm gonna be careful with this plugin term as you'll understand by the time this video finishes. Uh, I got a bunch of questions about this where, uh, you know, hey, I just upgraded to Photo Raw 2022. Uh, how come I don't see it in Lightroom? How do I edit with it? What's going on here? So we're gonna cover that in this video. I'll show you how to set it up, how you can make it work, and a caveat or two with this setup. There's a little bit of a quirk here. I'll explain all the stuff here. Uh, if you are looking at On One products to add to your workflow, do check the show notes. There is an offer code down there that can save you some money, give me a little bit of support, and I can keep doing videos like this. So first off, let me just show what's going on here. We're, we're, we're in Lightroom and we've just installed Photo Raw 2022. I go up to my file menu and I look at my plugin extras and I do not see anything in here for Photo Raw 2022 except Migrate Catalog. And that's different than what we saw with, say, Photo Raw 2021. You'd see things like, you know, send uh, on one effects or on one portrait or edit as layers and you know, what's happening here. And you go, hmm, you're scratching your head. You go into the plugin manager in Lightroom. You're looking through, here's Photo Raw 2022. Here is the plugin. It's enabled. And then you're left scratching your head a little bit going, okay, what's going on here? Uh, what happened? Well, what happened? <laughs> On One has made a clear line in their product offerings. They have Photo Raw 2022, standalone editor, encompasses lots of different functionality. All of their plugin capabilities are in Photo Raw 2022. That is for photographers who use On One as their primary editor. They have an On One centric workflow. And then there are the plugins. So the plugins we have, you know, resize, effects, portrait, no noise, all, you know, all the different plugins that On One has that you can snap into other editing workflows. If you're a Lightroom centric user, or you're a uh, Capture One centric user, a Photoshop centric user, you can augment your editing with these plugins. And with the Photo Raw 2022 release, the only plugin functionality that's been provided to Lightroom is for migrating a catalog. The things we used to see with effects, with portrait, those are just not there anymore. And so there is this separation. So uh, if you are not using On One as your primary editor, going forward, you'll want to look toward what they're offering with their plugins. And you're like, oh, well, I have Photo Raw 2022 right now. What am I going to do? Don't worry, I'll show you what you need to do here in just a second, but I want you to take away from this in addition to how to get Photo Raw 2022 working with Lightroom, that going forward, if you are in the Lightroom world, you'll wanna pay attention to what's going on with those plugins. And I think over time, what we'll see in these two product lines is periodically the plugins will move a little bit forward, right? We saw that in the summer with No Noise. Right? No Noise AI came out. That was a distinct and separate product and it had a plugin capability to Lightroom Photoshop, but Photo Raw didn't pick that up until 2022. 2022 comes out, it picked up a lot of that plugin functionality, and now Photo Raw has added SkySwap AI. Well, that's not in the plugins yet. And you know, eventually I think these things will kind of just kind of teeter-totter back and forth as the two different product lines mature. So all that being said, great, fine, Scott, thanks for the, uh, the history lesson, um, your guesses about the product line. How do I go set this thing up? Because I want to go use Photo Raw 2022 with Lightroom. All right, here we go. Lightroom gives us the capability to have external editors, and these do not need to be plugins. But they can be any program. We can just launch with a photo. So I'll go to Lightroom Preferences, and in the External Editing tab, this middle section, Add External Editor. And you'll see here I have you know a variety that are here already. These are different applications I've added in. To add in Photo Raw 2022, first thing is application. This will be whatever happens to be selected the last time you did something. Hit that choose button and go into your applications area. Find Photo Raw 2022. It'll be hiding down here for me. There's the application and choose that. And you'll see Photo Raw 2022. We're going to choose a file type, choose PSD. That's gonna be the best option for Photo Raw. 
And then your color space. I like Pro Photo. I like 16 bit. I like 300. Next step is to save this as an external editing preset. This part's important. Don't forget to save this as a new preset. So we'll do that. Preset down at the bottom. Save current settings as preset. And I'll call it on one. Photo raw 2022. Let's fix my spelling. There we go. Create. Okay, great. Now I have that preset here. I'm done with preferences. So that's the setup. Now you've told Lightroom, I've got this other editor called Photo Raw 2022. I might like to edit photos in it from time to time. Now you know about it. So now we're doing our editing and let's say this photo here, I've done my basics in Lightroom and I want to send this over into Photo Raw for more editing. So uh, just like we, we had used to do, I do a right click, I can do edit in and now we'll see in my list, I have Photo Raw 2022. I want to point out that if I go to File, Plugin Extras, you will not find that there. This is not a plugin. You're telling Lightroom, I have another external editor, some other application that if you say, Application, launch and open this file, it will work. So you're going to use your Edit In button or option there, and then choose Photo Raw 2022. Uh, one thing, I wanna go back to the grid view and show you this from here. So file, edit in, Photo Raw 2022. When I click this button, Lightroom is going to create, edit with adjustments, it's going to create a new PSD. I said edit, we'll see that show up here as it's preparing for editing, right? So there's that PSD. And now what happens is Lightroom's created that PSD. It now grabs that PSD file, says, let me launch on one Photo Raw 2022 and on one, go load this PSD into your edit module. And so that's what happens in the background. And here we are in Photo Raw 2022. And you can see we've got effects, we've got our new sky tab, all those things there. I can do any edits that I want. Uh, let's just, uh, for the, token change here so we can see something has happened. We'll make a, a make a black and white version of this here. Uh, maybe even a semi-muted black and white. So there's a little bit of color, uh, something like that. Okay, so we're gonna be done with our edits, but uh, you, know, you can do any level of editing in Photo Raw that you would like. Here's where quirk number one comes in. You press done. You get this pop-up. It says, all right, now save this file. Now remember, Lightroom created this PSD for you, then took that PSD, sent it over to Photo Raw as a standalone editor. So it's not really the plugin workflow. There isn't this uh, richer communication going on between On One and Lightroom. On One says, Great, I can save this out for you. This is the same exact PSD that Lightroom created. So when I hit save, you get this little warning that says, Hey, uh, this file exists. Don't worry about that, no problem. This is the one you want to update. It is, if I go back to my Lightroom catalog, it is this exact same photo. This is the image, this is the PSD file that Lightroom created, sent over into On One. So when I'm saving this and replacing it from On One, I'm updating the file that I created for editing. So I'll hit replace, I'll save all that stuff out, and then once again, we're not really in a traditional plugin workflow here. So on one won't close down and exit like it used to in a plugin workflow. It says, okay, I'm done. It kind of just bounces you back into browse to wherever you happen to be. I happen to be in this folder here. Uh, so I go back over to Lightroom. I can quit on one at this point. You know, I'm done with on one. I can quit out of it. And then back over in Lightroom, Lightroom will take a minute or so to wake up and refresh this image with the latest content that is in the PSD, that black and white treatment. There we go. So that refresh has happened and we can see now, if I go back to the grid view, we have that uh, muted toned one that we edited in Photo Raw 2022. It's next to the original in my Lightroom catalog. And yeah, it's workable, it's a quirky, it's a little bit clunky 
to work with Photo Raw 2022 as an editor, not as a plugin to Lightroom, but it does work. One other thing though is another quirk here is you get this, this odd warning badge here. And if I click on that, it's saying, well, um, the metadata for this photo has been changed outside of Lightroom. Once again, that's because we're not in a plugin workflow. So on one did some things, did some updates. It wrote directly to that PSD without Lightroom's knowledge. You know, uh, what should I do? In this case, I'll probably just say, you know, bring the settings in from disk because uh, I didn't really make any metadata changes in um, on one with respect to my copyright or my keywords or things like that and just to clean up that badge but you know if you're not doing a lot with metadata you don't really care okay but uh, that's how you can clean up that badge now what else uh, do we have to worry about here with this uh, this kind of workflow well there's a couple of other things to point out uh, the first I want to point out let me go back to this edit in Photo Raw 2022. Remember when we set up the external editor, we had choices of TIFF, PSD, and JPEG. Well, if you've been using Photo Raw 2021 as a plugin, one of the options was Smart Photo PSD. Don't have that option anymore with the editor approach, with an external editor approach. Plugins on one plugins, the on one 2021 plugins. You have that, it gives you some re-editability. I have different videos about that. You don't get that with this setup. You can edit in Photo Raw 2022, do all your edits. They are baked in when they come back to Lightroom. Uh, the other thing that you may be wondering about is layers. How do I do layers? If I like layers in On One, um, like these two photos here, if I wanted to combine these, well, I'll select both of them and I'll choose edit in on one photo raw 2022. Well, Lightroom says, great. Uh, I can do that for you. Edit a copy. Cool. I have two photos selected. So Lightroom will go and create two PSD files. There they are and say, okay, let me fire up on one and I'll send the most selected PSD into On One Photo Raw 2022. You don't get both of them. You get the one that was you know, super selected or most selected in, and in Lightroom. That's the one that lands in Photo Raw. And you can see here I have one photo. I open up the layers panel. I do not have that second PSD file. The silver lining is we can add it in, in the layers panel. Choose your plus button to add a layer. This is great. I'm going to make an on one photo file. That's what Photo Raw does. Fine. Add a layer. The third quirk. So I can access all of my photos on my machine and add any one of them as a layer in Photo Raw. This is what we can do. What will happen when you say hit that plus? It's going to open up the folder where you created these uh, PSD files from Lightroom. I pan back over to Lightroom for just a second. These two, even though what you're seeing here is a collection, so you see very few photos, under the hood, these PSD files live in a folder on my computer that has thousands of photos, thousands of photos. And I need to go find the one that I had created with, uh, with this PSD here. Yeah, I can go find it and I can add it as a layer and it's going to be kind of a hard target search, but I can go find it. And while I'm searching for this, my computer is grinding away trying to make thumbnails on thousands and thousands of photos. I happen to know its name. I know it's a PSD, so I'll add that as a layer. Okay, now I have my two layers, bottom layer, top layer, and for this photo, you know, if I invert my mask and I grab a brush and I change it to paint in, you know, if I wanted to get that, uh, that dreamier foreground in here and bring that in, I can. I can do my compositing work like I wanted to do. When I'm all finished, I hit done. Once again, I'll get that pop-up saying, do you want to save this? These PSD files already exist. So I'll say, yes, fine, great, save that out replace and it'll send that back over into Lightroom as a, uh, a PSD. It'll have a couple of layers in it 
but I can do the compositing work. But it's, it's clunky, it's very clunky, especially if you have a folder with hundreds or thousands of images in it. Even if your Lightroom view has been pared down with a collection or with a filter, when you end up wanting to do a layered workflow with Photo Raw 2022, it's going to be a uh, friction. <laughs> There's going to be friction there to get it done. So you can do it. Uh, for single images, it's a lot more palatable. Or for a layered workflow, it is a little bit rough. And I've landed back over in Lightroom. You can see this is my most selected photo. And if I look very carefully, comparing it to its neighbor, I can see I've got my blending there. I've got my composite where I have the foreground water from this PSD blended into here where this was more sand I have a little bit more water so you know my, my, my stuff is is there I've got my layered workflow you know this was the original I blended in some of the dreaminess you know this is where that that kind of like that silky water came in from so you can see the blend that's happened there so the layered workflow is possible depending on how many photos you have to go find and sift through to get that one you want to add as a layer uh, there could be some uh, some some pain so but uh, the, the the takeaways here number one can you set up photo raw 2022 to be a lightroom plugin yes you can and for single images works pretty well yeah, the only quirk is knowing that when uh, photo raw launches it's not talking with lightroom and you'll get that pop-up saying i need to save it and is it okay to replace and the answer is yes because lightroom created the file for you already you are updating it with your edits from photo raw and then it just takes a little bit for lightroom to catch up and show you that preview you can decide whether or not you want to clean up that little metadata badge that one's up to you for a layered workflow, also possible, heavier lifting in my opinion. Uh, so I'm curious to see what's going to happen with the plugins for On One when they refresh those. I do expect them to refresh those plugins sometime for 2022, you know, bring SkySwap into the effects plugin. Will they still give us an ability to do a layered workflow or for a plugin ecosystem or uh, your you know, Lightroom Adobe centric? Could they take the stance of, well, you know, you've got layers in Photoshop. You know, we don't need to provide you with layers because you have Photoshop. We're going to have to see how that works out. Uh, but that's everything that I know about Photo Raw 2022 as a Lightroom plugin today. I uh, hope this demystified some things, clarified a couple of others. Uh, if you have questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments. If you have other experiences, maybe something that streamlines this or makes it a little easier, share that too. Always share the knowledge. It's, uh, it's you know, kind of why we're all here. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.